Um, there's lots and lots of honeybees, which is great. Um, Nine stories above the street nestles a secret garden. There are beetles, birds and native bees. Very quickly, the insect life, the wildlife up on here was amazing. Sustainability expert Lucy Sharman was the driving force behind this experiment. It involved two identical buildings side by side. One fitted with ordinary solar panels, the other with panels that sit in a bed of plants. It was one of the key research questions. Do green roofs actually make solar panels more efficient? And yes, they do. Solar panels actually don't work as well if they get too hot. The plants stopped them overheating and kept the building itself cooler. On hot days, the temperature on the green roof was up to 20 degrees lower. At the same time, the plants were soaking up almost nine tonnes of greenhouse gases and reducing stormwater runoff. Plants do offer a huge amount in terms of making cities more resilient to climate change. Researchers from UTS say one of the biggest surprises was the increase in biodiversity. To attract any animals that high up in the middle of the CBD is quite astounding. Motion sensor cameras captured a wide array of visitors. We even have evidence that there could have been predatorial birds. Green spaces in the city have been highly sought after during the lockdown. Researchers say green rooftops like this one could provide that connection to nature that so many of us have craved. If you think about where are the places and spaces in your life that you feel the happiest, they're inevitably in nature. We are so intrinsically connected to plants and wildlife. Connections that become even more important as we spend more time closer to home. Ursula Malone, ABC News, Sydney.